Hi, today I'm gonna show you a video on how to download any Samsung Android firmware for your phone <laughs> available up to date. So what you'll need is Samfirm, which you can find by just Google it. I'm gonna put the program you need, it's free. You'll find it on XDA. Of course, it's discontinued, but it's it still works. And I'll also put all the other links you'll need in the description. So that's it, let's start up. Let's go to the first thing you'll need is Samfirm, which I have here, and just start it like that. And as you see here, I have been searching for uh, my phone, it's the S6. So let's see here, let's just put. You'll need a model number of your phone, you'll find it on your phone in the settings area and info. And you'll also need the region code or product code of your phone. You'll find it anywhere on your box, in Google, anywhere you want. So let's see. Let's just put the XAF, which is the France product info number. And you'll see I've written my model number for the S6 flat version, international version. And let's just check the update. And it's starting to check. And it found this one. Uh, this is the newest version available, still waiting for the Android 7. And see that the decrypt automatically is checked. And that's it, you, you just download the and it starts to download and you get it on your home screen or in your download folder or anything and it's just ready to be put on your phone through OD mode but if you want an older version or any other version any other bootloader, any other modem then you'll do it like this you'll open your Firefox and you, let's see, where did I put the here and this is the place where some firm go downloads all this stuff from so let's take this one and copy it and in paste it in your browser like that and there where are the question marks you just fill in your three now three digits or letters Product code, so let's go with the XAF again. It has to be in capital letters, by the way. XAF. And <clears throat> there is your model number. You can change it if your model is, let's say, for the Note 5, then you'll have to. Was it N920? Or for the Android, for the S7, it's 930F. Or something like that. You'll get the ID. And let's just go and it opens a page like this and you'll see all available versions that have been put out for your phone and then you just go this is to kind of it takes long longer than to just use take the newest firmware but you'll put this one to manual and let's just take the first one that's been available for this phone so just copy that one, copy, and the sound form, and you'll paste it in the first spot, like that. And then you take the middle one, and there, and put it in the middle box, like that. And the last one from here. And you'll put it in the last box like that. There you go. Check the update. Shouldn't take long. And there you go. That's the first one that was available for this phone. And then you just download it. Ching, and you have it on your on your computer. Just to show this works for every phone. So let's put the just change this number for the S7 to 930 
F, and there you have the available firmwares for the your Samsung Galaxy S7. And let's check something else. Then let's go to Google and let's see why the Note 4 4 model number like that. And let's see. Let's just wait and see. It's the SM910C. Let's test that one. So just put this one here. N910C and check. Oh, it didn't give you anything for this. Oh, it's because it wasn't probably available there. Let's put another phone. Let's check there. Mm. Let's check the. Hey, just for fun, let's check the Note 7, which was a failure, but still. Yeah, so, let's see. Hmm. I haven't tried it actually myself. Let's see if it's it's apparently discontinued. I wonder why. Let's see what we can find there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I saw something on the first page. Let's see. N nine three O G. Three. I don't even think this is on, but let's test anyway. No. But still, you get the point. Let's still check the S5 model number. SMG900. G900. Is it F or? Yeah, it was F. You have to be. It have to be exactly as you have on your own phone. If you have the international version, you have to you need to have the right right <coughs> product code for that phone. So, any questions? You can put it in the comments box and I can try and answer as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you.